Hi guys, what's up? It's Gone with the Gale here, and if you've been watching my Instagram over at Gone with the Gale on Instagram, you'll know that in addition to my travel, adventure, walk videos, I also post pictures of my art. I paint, draw, do needle crafts, and a lot more. So if you want to, if you want to see some of that, feel free to follow me over there on Instagram at Gone with the Gale. I also thought I'd add a simple video, a simple draw with me video of how to draw a Mickey balloon. These are the kind of balloons you find at the Disney parks. It's a very simple video, and I thought I'd just put this out here for you so that you could give it a try and see if you like it. And if you want to see more videos like this, just let me know down in the comments. Now what you're going to need to get started is you're going to need an iPad with the app Procreate and a stylus or an Apple Pencil. Um, you could probably do this on a different brand of tablet, but I wouldn't know what the controls are or what they might be called. But you could probably apply these same things to it with a little experimentation. So here's your final product. We're going to start with a canvas that's 2300 by 3000 pixels. As long as it's a vertical portrait style canvas, that's all that really matters in this case for what we're doing. The colors we're going to need today are black, gray, a soft white, and whatever color you want your interior balloon to be. They're usually red or blue. It doesn't really matter what color you use as long as you have a dark, a medium, and a light version of the color. We're going to start with the medium color and we're going to get the monoline brush. We're going to use that at 1% and 100% opacity and we're going to get started here. We're going to draw a circle, and as you can see, I really cannot draw circles, but if you hold the point down, Procreate will make it a perfect circle for you. Next, we're going to put our pen tip up on the color and drag it over and fill the color to the center of the balloon. Next, we're going to go up to the upper right-hand corner next to the color palette and select Layers and create a new layer by clicking on the plus, so we have now have two layers. Now we're going to click on the wrench in the upper left hand corner, then Canvas and Drawing Guide, then Edit Drawing Guide and select Symmetry. The symmetry is going to make the two ears exactly the same, which is what you want on a Mickey balloon. So what you can do is slide your pen along the top if you want to change the color, then Done when you pick the color, and if you see here, the circle isn't perfectly in the center of the page, but we can fix that. That's the beautiful thing about Procreate. There's so many ways to cor correct little mistakes we make, so let's go do that. We're going back to the upper right hand corner and selecting layers, and we're going to go back to layer one. Now what we're going to do is click the arrow and it selects our red circle. Now we can slide it back and forth just a little bit to get it lined up on that center line and now we're good to go back to layer two and start the ears. Now here on layer two we're going to make sure we have our monoline pen in the medium red and we're going to go to the right side and we're going to draw a circle that will become the ear. Because we have symmetry on, symmetry is going to make two ears, one on each side of that center line. So there's our ears, hold your pen tip down and you can adjust the size. If you think they're a little too oval, click the top where it says ellipse. And you'll see those little blue dots. Put your pen tip there and you can stretch them out to the size so they make nice round circles to make the Mickey ears. Next, we're going to go ahead and take our pen back up into the upper right hand corner and touch the red dot and drag the color over and fill both of those ears in. So now you have the happy Mickey head shape. Now what we're going to do next is we're going to combine the two layers onto one layer, making this one perfect picture together. So what you do is you click on layers, and then you pinch with your fingers, grab each layer, one with your thumb, one with your finger, and smoosh them together. So it makes them into one layer. You'll see it right here. It took me two tries here. And now you have the Mickey head all on the same layer. This is where the fun begins. We're going to stay here on layers and we're going to click over and click the alpha lock. That'll keep any paint from going anywhere but on the ears because we're going to start with our shading. Now we're going to go up to the colors and we're going to select our dark shade. In this case, for me, it's a very dark shade of red. This is going to be the shadows on our Mickey head. 
Then we're going to go over here and we're going to switch to airbrushing and the soft brush. And this is going to make it so that we have nice soft edges to our shading. So I'll be clicking on here to the soft brush, airbrushing, then soft brush. And with this dark color, we're just going to trace around the outside. I have the size at 2% and the opacity at 100%. So we're just going to go now and trace around the edges. As you can see here, I'm going around the edges. It doesn't have to be perfect. Any, it does. If you wiggle, that's fine. It'll all be corrected in the next step, so there's nothing really to worry about. So we're just going to trace around the edges here and color it in. Now, for me, the light in this project for me is coming from the upper right-hand corner, so there'll be just a little extra anything on any side that's on the lower left side, on the bottom of the ear, and on this on the left side of the balloon. There's going to be just a little extra shadow. Not a lot, but just a little bit extra, like you can see here. There'll be a little less on the upper right-hand side of the balloon as well, but you'll still have a little bit. Now don't worry about blending or anything like that. We'll take care of that in the next step. We're just going to go around and trace around the outside of the balloon. And this will play a part later. This is how you get that sense of roundness in the balloon. So we're going to go ahead and trace all of that all the way around the edges. Here we're going to get ready and we're going to do the upper right hand ear. Now there's just a little bit there. Just a little bit. A little bit. There we go. There we are. And then we're going to go and pick our light color. For this balloon, it's going to be like a pink, not quite white, but a pink. And this is where we're going to put the highlights in. This is going to be where you're going to see the most light. So in the center of each ear and in the center of the Mickey head part portion of the balloon. And this is, go, don't worry about blending. Just go ahead and do circles. We'll take care of the blending all in one step. This is the easiest way to do this. So I'm putting the circles in in the center. See, I'm just making little circles until it gets to about where I think it is. So you'll have a stripe of the dark red, then the medium red, and then a circle of your highlight color, the light pinkish, whitish red in the center. Now here I'm down doing the face. Doing the middle of the Mickey's head here. And see, I'm not being that particular. It doesn't have to be perfect. Just kind of a round shape. And there you go. And then we're going to go from here to the upper left-hand corner to the magic wand to adjustments and Gaussian blur. And we're going to put our pen tip down and drag across the top. And we're going to make all those colors blend together and automatically create all our shading. As you can see here, I'm about 25%, and that pretty much blends it together. 21%, I'm sorry. And there you go. You have your highlights. You have your lowlights. Next, we're going to create a new layer. This will be for the clear outside balloon. So we have a new layer. And then we're going to have to switch our pens back. We're going to go click Calligraphy. And after we click Calligraphy, we'll go back to the Monoline pen, because this will make the outside of the balloon. We need the edge. So after that we'll go and we'll pick a nice medium gray. We don't want black because it'll blend into the back. So we want a nice medium gray. So we're going to pick a medium gray. And after we get our medium gray, we're going to get ready and make sure we're on layer two. And on our layer two we're going to start the outside of the balloon. We're going to do what we did before. We're going to draw a nice round oval just around the outside of the balloon. We're going to hold our pen tip down till it makes it into an oval for us. There it is. And then we're going to click edit shape and we're going to take those blue dots and we're going to just play with it until the oval balloon fits right around our Mickey head balloon. It'll take a little playing, take a little time, but that's okay. Here we go. Just sliding a little bit. A little bit on each side until it feels like it's centered. It does, remember, it's a balloon. It doesn't have to be perfect. And when we get it where we like, we're going to click away from where it says edit shape up there at the top. And then the next thing we're going to do 
is we're going to go up in the upper right hand corner, click Layers, click uh, make a third layer. We're also going to switch to from the monoline to the soft brush again. We're going to leave all the settings the same and we're going to go pick a slightly lighter shade of gray. Not quite white, but not quite gray. And we're going to use this for the highlights on the balloon. So I picked one right here in the middle. I tend to prefer for this a gray that has more of a blue tint. You see me moving the, the uh, wheel around to get it to the blue so it's a little more cool colored. And now I'm going to go up and I'm going to use that airbrush and I'm going to go around the outside and create some shading for the, the clear balloon that's around the colored balloon. So I'm going to trace around and then I'll hold my pen tip down so it makes it a nice round circle and edit the shape, make sure it fits. There we go. Just like that. And from here, then we're going to go over and click on the magic wand and Gaussian blur. And we're going to draw our pen tip over until we get to about the 12%. And this will make the, the balloon seem more transparent and show shading. On the layers, we're going to create, hit the plus, create a new layer, layer four. And what we're going to do on this layer is create the little twisty part at the bottom of the balloon. So we're going to go and we're going to pick on our medium red again. And from the medium red, we're then going to go over and go back to our monoline. We're going to hit the calligraphy pen. And then we're going to go back and hit monoline. And then we're going to go down to the bottom of the balloon and t put that little twisty part on the bottom where you tie the balloon which is just a triangle. It's not that hard. We can do that together. I'm going to blow this up to make it easier for you to see. And I'm going to draw a triangle, just a basic triangle, meeting right there at the bottom of the red balloon and the gray balloon. And I'm going to just do my best to make a triangle. And I'm going to hold the point down at the end, edit shape, and make it into a triangle. And we're going to use those little blue dots just like we did before. Put our pen down and drag them till we get where we want. Now that we have it where we want, we're going to have to, um, I'm going to put some little lines at the top because the tie part has a little knot there, so it's not just a triangle per se. And we're going to just add a few lines there just to make it a little bit thicker at the top. And then what we're going to need to do is go over and we're going to select the color from the color palette up there in the upper right hand corner with our pen. And we're going to drag it over and fill it in. Now we're going to do just what we did for the red balloon. We're going to go and go back up to layers and then we're going to click alpha lock and now we're going to go and we're going to pick our dark red color again. We're going to go back to the dark red and we're going to switch our brushes back to airbrushing and the soft brush and what we're going to do is we're going to go around the outside of the triangle just the same way we did before right along the edges and with the alpha lock on, it's not going to go anywhere but the area that we've already colored in red. So we're going to go along here and we're going to trace along the outside of the triangle, the little tie piece there, the end of the balloon. And we're going to go up and do right underneath the balloon. That's going to be a little bit darker because it's deeper in the shadows because the rest of the balloon is blocking it. And just a smidge at the edge, you're going to go very light on the right side of the triangle. Then we're going to go back and we're going to select the pink or the, your light color. We're going to put the highlights on this tie. So then we're not changing any brushes. We're just going to take the highlights and we're going to go ahead and we're going to highlight that right there in the center just a little bit. You don't need a lot down here because it's darker because it's underneath the balloon. And then from there, we're going to go back up and we're going to select the magic wand, the Gaussian blur, and we're going to slide our pen across the top to about six percent. Now we're going to go back and make this back to being full size and we're going to wiggle it and get nice and straight here for you and then from here we're going to create a new layer and this is going to be the shine on the balloon. We're going to be on our soft brush and we're going to pick a pale pale shade of yellow because this is the light glinting off the clear balloon that's on the outside of the Mickey balloons. So I'm just going to pick a nice pale yellow here Move around a little bit, try to pick some, pick just the right shade. There we go. Move it all the way out to the edge where the color's the lightest. It's kind of a grayish, yellowish white. And I'm going to put just a little, little rainbow shape, a little 
round shape on the top and one on the bottom. And once I have that done, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to go over to our magic wand and I'm going to hit the gloss, Gaussian blur. And I'm going to slide that over to approximately 7%. Then we're going to go ahead and create a new layer. We're going to hit the plus, add layer number six, and we're going to put the string on our balloon. We're going to switch from the airbrush over to the calligraphy and the monoline again. We're not changing any settings. And then we're going to pick a nice dark gray, a deep gray. We don't want black because we want the string to show up against a black background. So we're going to pick a nice dark gray here, dark to medium gray. And what we're going to do is we're going to draw the bow. So we're going, we have our monoline pen and we're just going to draw a loop. It's just a little circle and then another little circle back next to it. It doesn't need to be smooth. It doesn't need to be perfect. It's a string. So it's just going to be two little circles there at the bottom of the point. You can see them coming in here. And then just a wiggly little string underneath it. It doesn't matter. Remember, it's a string. It's not that important. It just gives you the idea that this is a balloon on a string. Then we're going to click on layers and click background. And then we're going to select black for our background. So we're just going to select black and there you go. A nice balloon right against the black background. And there you go. We have our final project, the finished Mickey Mouse balloon. I hope you like it. Um, this was my first try at this kind of video. If you liked it, you know, click the thumbs up, let me know. Please feel free to give me some constructive criticism in the comments and let me know if you'd like me to do some more simple videos like this in the future. Thanks for watching. Thank you.